Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here, and today I'll be sharing this impressionistic winter lakeside scene painted using watercolour. I'm painting on hot pressed paper today, and I'm going to be using the card swipe method, which involves squeezing out some fresh tube paint onto the flat edge of an old store card and using that to apply the first layer of colour. Of course, this could always be done using a palette knife or a flat brush if you prefer. As you apply the paint, it helps to have a sense of the landscape you want to create in mind. You can see I'm working around the curve of this lakeside, using the card to build up layers of colour and loose impressionistic marks. By taking a little of this mixed up paint from the card to paint my sky, it creates those lovely neutral varied tones which helps harmonise beautifully with the rest of the landscape we're creating. I'm using the tips of my 2 inch flat brush here to add a sweep of dry brush sparkle for the surface of the lake. This effect would be more easily achieved on textured paper like cold press or rough, however with care you can see that it is manageable on smooth paper as well. I'm also using a clean damp brush to remove this small puddle of excess water from the sky. This is a great little technique to get rid of any annoying pools and puddles without needing to blot away with something absorbent and risk leaving unwanted marks.
Once the painting has fully dried, it's time to build up a little more colour. I began today by enhancing the edges of the lake as you see here, using light paint and my sword liner brush to begin adding a bit of loose detail. Using a good flat brush is a great simple way to add rigid structures such as old fences or tumble down posts to a landscape scene. Just let the brush edge do most of the work for you. Now it's time to add some beautiful lakeside foliage around the edges of this scene. I'm beginning with this lovely neutral colour mixed up from sepia and ultramarine blue. I like to take my time with this part and slowly layer up different shapes and tones of foliage as this is where the sword liner brush really comes into its own. Now for the finishing touch, a lovely pair of birds in flight. 
This was inspired by my recent visit to a local reservoir where I saw the most wonderful pair of buzzards soaring high above the lake. Always remember to wait for your paint to fully dry before removing the tape from the edges as you don't want to risk smudging any parts of the painting that haven't quite finished drying yet. And with that, the painting is finished. I really enjoyed this one today. It reminds me of some of the really moody, atmospheric, grey sky winter walks I've been on recently. I hope you all enjoyed watching it too. And remember, you can sign up to my Patreon page at any time by following the link below the video to see even more video demos like this one. So thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week and very happy painting.